did good, sir. It's that the mental motherfucker. I'm kicking it with my brothers. I'm rocking a five nine. You know, great the fucking color. My gas screaming killer. Wet or hit him where they left. What up, you sexy bastards? This is gonna be technically the last lift in Utah. Actually, by the time this is posted, we will be in Arizona, moved in. All right, what are we doing today? Sarms. Sarms? <laughs> no, it'd be charms. Shoulders and arms. Charms. Whatever the fuck, I don't know. We don't do sarms, babe. You benching 400 pounds for like a couple reps today? I had three by six today, so. With four, with... No, like 335. Oh, shit. I yeah. I was going to say with 400, was like I was like... 70%. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> Dude, when I was in prep, I did 405 for five, but... I didn't even get close to touching that. So I was like 265. I'm like 240 now, so... Yeah. A little chubby. <laughs> Aren't you doing like a little bit of... You were explaining your program last time, but I forgot. I'm trying to get more of the frequency going. Oh. I think frequency is king if you can recover from the training. If I go every other day and I do the shoulders, arms, chest, back, and legs, right. and I like control the volume and I'm not like super fucking torn by the next session, like CNS-wise. Three to four days a week still? Yeah, it'll land on different days right. every it's week. Like so it's still getting the frequency in when before I was like training it and then Three resting a lot, yeah. And your shoulders and biceps and arms, you can go more ham on them. I'll fuck my shoulders up yeah. and then the next day I'm like, did I even fucking work these out? If you're training a true balls of the wall, fucking leaving nothing in tank failure, you need more rest. You can train shoulders and arms. Tomorrow I'm gonna be like, Ooh, like if I trained today, it would feel like shit. There. <laughs> How many times do you bench four plates? Five. <laughs> Imagine if he didn't try. Yeah. Well, you'd be like, what, 180 pounds? Yeah, oh yeah, probably fat. fat. Yeah. yeah. you probably like get a little bit more muscle. That's what we talk about is like, there's probably millions of people walking around like sebum genetics. And they oh yeah, try. yeah, and yeah. they don't tap in. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> bro, treat it like a fucking video game. Yeah. Like oh it's yeah, level Dead ass oh, like yeah. it's World of Warcraft. Strength it's, and Yeah, you just get the attributes, you build them. <laughs> Grow, yeah. get muscles. We got the OG OG flavor. Raspberry mojito. I'm just gonna dome it. This two scoops is gonna fucking make my heart palpitate though. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is normally dosed. Oh my god, two at a time. Just try to get like 12, 16 ounces with your scoop. <clears throat> and then you get a pee pee break and then we'll start yeah. with some shoulders. The Haley pump cover uh. the best brand they send you the best gifts yeah they sent us like both christmas presents yeah they're, awesome. they're good people they yeah. sent me the og game boy i put uh. on my story and like donkey kong country because the first game i played was donkey kong country like before all the games before halo or anything it was that and so he sent me like an og that and then pokemon crystal ogs no starting off with the compound for shoulders you can get a deep ass stretch on this safely because it's a machine puts you in a good range of motion just Crank that failure out on it. I'm able to work up to like two plates and some change eh? I'm gonna do two warm-up sets and then I'm gonna do one top set I've been working with one top set on my compound still one top set on my big muscle groups like chest back Quads hammies and then for the smaller muscle groups shoulders biceps triceps calves forearms That's gonna be two sets. I'm able to crank out two sets six to ten reps on all of those sets That's just sweet spot for me. I feel like you can find your own preference because I see motherfuckers rocking like 15, 20 reps on a lot of shoulder movements. I just get a lot of burn and I don't feel like I'm hitting true failure. So you engage it for yourself and then anything heavier than six for me is just kind of, I feel a lot of my joints. I don't feel a lot of mind muscle connection. I don't get a great pump from it. It's usually like six reps. Even if I get a set and I accidentally go heavy and I hit like four or five reps, I'm like, uh, I didn't get like a lot of chest action going. We ain't doing that gym couple bullshit. We are not the gym couple to be like, we used to work out together when you were powerlifting. We work yeah. out together, and it was like fun. Her own splits, and she has her own recovery patterns and her I own don't wants like doing for his movement. workouts. We have different goals, yeah. so why would I do the exact same shit as him? Like I'll do stuff like this, but yeah. if shit aligns and we'll train together. But I like a lot of different movements that she doesn't like. You got to stick to it and progress. If you're hopping program to program, I used to do that shit, and I made a lot more progress when I stuck through with the program, saw it till the end, came out the other end progressed and stronger. 
and then you can pick a different program. And there will be a lot more motivation when you wait and just get good at the movements you set yourself up with. Unless you have a coach, that's a different story. But yeah, just stick to it. If you go program to program, you're not going to get great at movements and get stronger at them and progress. You're not even going to know if you're progressing because if you're just unconsciously going through the motions and you might be training to failure every now and then and you don't know if you're getting stronger on paper. I think it's fucking badass to see if I'm getting stronger on paper because I see that. I'll be like, mm. like I hit 245 on here for eight reps. So if I hit nine or 10, I'm like, boom, check. If I'm eating in a surplus and sleeping dog, that's more muscle, baby. So if you see it on paper, you can correlate that, especially with being natural. You ain't going to see a lot of mirror gains going on, brother. Like unless you're on a cut, that's when it was like noticeable that I was making changes and such. When you're in a gaining phase, you're probably just going to notice a little more body fat. You're going to get really great pumps, but you're not going to look as sweet as you do when you're lean. So just stick with the on paper progress that lets you know you're on the right track. I have to get nine reps or I'm not going to fucking sleep tonight. Like, It just stopped. I ain't counting that last rep. It was like, what, 10 I only count the full reps. That extra partial shit is just for funsies and extra intensity. I only count the full reps though. I got nine, up one, boop, plus one on the muscle. I like doing seated laterals on the bench now. You can just let that shit hang right here. Pause. And then go up. You're hitting that shit right on the head. Pause. Hitting the lateral head. Make sure to control it. Give it like a good two second on the way down. And then mm, just squeeze it up. Don't gotta use a lot of weight. You look like you're constipated. Say what? <laughs> Even if I did like an ad, I'd want to be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they're all. What can it? Yeah, bitch, tell me what it is. Wake up with a smile, picking up the right bit. OJ in the morning, like a stab the white bitch. Every color in the fucking rainbow, suck my white dick. White. Talk to you later. 10 piece both sets. Give me them nuggets, baby. That means we're going up next week, so I'd want like a 32.5 to move up from 30s, but we'll see. Like well, we'll be in AZ, maybe they'll have 32.5s at the new gym. Mm -hmm. The sexy ass bitch in the program again. I will call this my bread and butter rear delt movement for sure. This or you can hit them JPG shits like this. Those feel good too. Uh, face pulls do the trick if you like rocking with face pulls. I usually just don't like it because there's not a counter force keeping me in place, you feel me? With this, I can put my chest on the pad and just, just fuck up my rear delts and not have any form breakdown and just stick my chest to the pad. That would be cool. Wow, look at that ass. Yeah, stick that ass out.
Put the strap down, man down, man down. Bullets in your brain, no strength, no strength. Send me all the steady nine, getting wine, getting wine. Put me on the man now, trap now, trap now. Never put the strap down, man down, man down. Bullets in your brain, no strength, no strength. She's stuck. Dorito chip. <laughs> Boom. Cool Ranch is the best, bro. Nacho it's Cool Ranch. No, that's the spicy cool nacho one. One of a kind. I'm saying of the OG flavors. Talking about that argument, because motherfuckers like to no, argue. You know the Quest. That the Cool Quest Ranch lime. isn't better than the nacho cheese one. Of course, but Quest Lime. Have you had the Quest Lime chips? The protein yeah, ones. Yeah, they're literally better the nacho than nacho lime ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. I it's got like, home yesterday, and he's sitting on the bean bag with a bag of my Quest. It's lime. What, the lime. Yeah. Oh. But they're like spicy. They're yeah, not just lime, they're, they're like spicy. I don't know what lab they make those in, how they're only 140 calories a bag. That's so good. He That's fucked up. Them. Bro, I'll tell you what you need to do is you need to make mashed potatoes and dip them in mashed potatoes. It's so gas. <laughs> you were probably so high Bro, when you bulking, did that. <laughs> bulking tip. Preacher curls. I just like this because it's kind of hard to get that consistent strict form with you just like letting your arms hang. Good to have that counter resistance for the bicep. Even machines are good with this. But if I'm not doing these, I'll do a preacher curl machine. Or you could even get like an incline bench. Rest your arm on that shit with a dumbbell. Same thing. You can even bring dumbbells over here and do it on the preacher curl. I'm choosing the straight bar because I feel a sick ass contraction with it. But whatever you wish. Hit your set, bitch. So I hit seven reps for both sets, seven, seven, with two tens on each side. I just cranked out 10. So I'm gonna try to get like eight or nine. There might be drop off, but I'm gonna just go till I can. We got tricep skull crushers. You don't have to use as much weight as you might think. I do like using the easy bar too. I'll start out with the lighter weight and get warmed up. Just make sure my form's good. But full ROM and here's in a fully stretched position, full flexion with your triceps. And then up. None of this, like fucking everyone can do a plate like this. Right here, full flexion, and then boom. I aim for like right here, right in the crevice of your shit. You can feel it out though. It might feel better, closer to hitting your forehead, right here, your nose. You can feel it out, but you can do that with your first warm up weight and then bust out some top sits. <laughs>
now we just got four arms. Mine look better than fucking yours, bitch. I think that is going to be a wrap for this week's vlog. Motherfucking love you, peeps. Thank y'all for coming by. See y'all next Sunday. Peace out, baby.